All right, this is a fire alarm pull station and I'm gonna show you how it works. So basically a fire alarm pull station is just a fancy switch. It's really simple. Uh, this particular station is not connected to the fire alarm system right now. So I can open it up, do the demonstration and it won't do anything. It won't set off an alarm and call the fire department because that would be expensive. As you can see, um, the station's closed and it has a lock on the top. So the moment I open it up, there's a button. This button right here, this is the fire alarm. When the station is closed and the handle is up, it keeps the button in. And the moment you pull down the handle, there's a little latch here, or a notch I should say, allowing the button to be released. And that's what sets out the fire alarm. So uh, when that button releasing, you hear this, this click, it's, it's the button releasing. So I'm going to lock the station. Right now it's in its normal position. Reset like you would see it if you go to any building ever, pretty much. So this is pulling it and you can hear the button releasing. That's all it is. And then once it's pulled, it stayed in its locked position. It's designed this way. You cannot push it up and the only way to reset it is to uh, open up the pull station having access to the key. I put in the wrong key. Um, there's a bunch of different keys too. Of course, this is an Edwards. That's the, the brand that makes this particular one. Um, so you can see all that cool stuff on the inside. But uh, yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. This is not overly complicated. So yeah, this is how a fire alarm pull station works.